In Daniel 9, the word translated as weeks means three things. Seven, period of seven, or the Feast of Weeks, which is another word for the Feast of Shavuot. So Daniel 9 verse 25 can say, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto Messiah the Prince shall be seven, seven, and three score and two Shavuots. In other words, seven, seven, and sixty-two Shavuots. The commandment went forth in 1947. The man called Messiah was born seven, seven, after that in 1961. And 62 Shavuots after the commandment, the man called Messiah became president of the United States. The United States is the country that houses the beast. The beast is the eighth king, and the eighth king is the United Nations. The headquarters of the United Nations is in New York City, in the United States of America. Therefore, the seat of the beast is New York City. All the world worships the beast. The man who the world called Messiah was president of the country where the seat of the beast is. He confirmed the worldwide treaty established by the beast, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty created by the United Nations. The man called Messiah confirmed the worldwide covenant of the beast between October and December 2009. Four months after 62 Shavuots from the commandment to restore Jerusalem. Daniel 9 verse 26 says, And after 62 Shavuots shall Messiah cut a covenant. The commandment to restore was put forth by the eighth king, the United Nations, the beast. The confirming of the beast's covenant started a seven-year period from October through December 2009 to October through December 2016. Verse 27 says, And he shall confirm the covenant for one seven, and in the midst of the seven he shall cause the thank offering and gift to cease. Notice the word translated as thank offering can also be translated as thanksgiving. So it says, In the midst of the seven he shall cause the thanksgiving and gift to cease. So the man who the world called Messiah showed up exactly seven, seven, and sixty-two Shavuots from the commandment that the beast put forth in 1947 to restore Jerusalem. The beast awarded the man called Messiah for confirming the beast's worldwide covenant. The seat of the beast is in New York City. In the midst of the seven years, in August 2012, the man that the world called Messiah signed a steel beam that was set up in the One World Trade Center in New York City. That idol symbolized the war on terror. It was the idol of terror that Jesus said to watch for. It was set up exactly 1290 days after the man called Messiah took the oath, which is what Daniel 12 says. The idol was set up in the seat of the beast in the midst of the seven years. A month later, on the 1335th day, Christians and Jews around the world reached their blessed day, the Feast of Trumpets. One month after that, the sign of Revelation 12 occurred, the sign that signals the flight of the multitude. The idol set up in the sacred place, the sacred place of the beast, the man called Messiah is Obama, who looks uncannily similar to the ancient pharaoh Akhenaten. Some scholars believe Akhenaten reigned in Egypt during the time of Joseph. Egypt is the spiritual name of the great city, which is end-time Babylon the Great, which will be destroyed by a stone from heaven. When Joseph was in Egypt, there were seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine. In Daniel 9, 7, 7 can refer to seven years followed by seven more years. In Daniel 9, 26, it can say Messiah will be cut off or Messiah will cut a covenant after the 62 Shavuots. In verse 27, the 1, 7 starts either at the cutting of the covenant or the cutting off of the man called Messiah. That gives two possible seven-year periods. One starting when Messiah cut the covenant, and the other starting when Messiah is cut off. This also lines up with the 77, 
77 from the commandment to restore Jerusalem ends in 2024. Babylon the Great is the great city which is spiritually called Egypt. The ten plagues of Egypt parallel the seven plagues of end-time Babylon. The ten plagues of Egypt are exactly what would happen after a stone from heaven hit the earth. First, the oxygen is sucked out of the atmosphere and water turning the waters a red color. The burning away of the protective layer of the atmosphere scorches people with heat from the sun. They break out in boils on their skin, grievous sores in the kingdom of the beast. When the oxygen is burned out of the water, the frogs will leave the water and fill the land. The stone from heaven brings with it the sound of thunder, hail, and fire falling from heaven. When it hits the earth, it creates a huge burning pit. The smoke that comes out of the pit fills the atmosphere, darkening the sky. The third part of the earth affected by this will be in darkness for three days. Those three days represent years. In three years of darkness, all the plants will die. The dead plant matter will cause an increase in gnats, which eat dead plants. After the plants are dead, the cattle will die of starvation. That will cause an increase in the fly population, which eat dead flesh. This is when the kings of the east will invade the kingdom of the beast. This is when the locusts come out of the smoke. For more information, please see the playlist Bibles Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue, linked here and below this video. Thank you to those who have made this work possible. If you'd like to support, please go to indigoflower.net. I hope you're well, and I'll talk to you next week.